Hi, Jenny here. When I was at the pumpkin farm last weekend, I picked up four different types of squash. One of them I had never heard of before, but the others I've made, um, not for video though. So today we are going to be making acorn squash. Let's get started. So I have four different types of squash here. There is a butternut squash, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, and a mashed potato squash. I never heard of this one before, so it'll be interesting to try that one. Because you will be cutting through the skin of the squash, you want to make sure that you first wash it with soap and water. And then to make it easier to cut, we're going to put this in the microwave for about a minute and go from there. All right, so we'll try to cut off the stem area first. Oh, so pretty, it looks like a flower. Okay, now that you have a flat end, we'll put that down and then we'll cut it in half. You could try always just cutting it in half right away to begin with, but sometimes these acorn squashes are really hard, so it's pretty difficult. squash come with seeds inside of them so you want to scoop these seeds out you can either just toss them if you want to or they are kind of like pumpkin seeds so you can save them get all the extra um, squash type parts off of it the, the goopy parts I call it and you can roast the seeds just like you would pumpkin seeds Just also scrape off that little bit of extra of the insides there, the extra stringy part. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then we're going to take some softened butter and rub that around the inside here and then sprinkle it with some ground cinnamon, a little bit of salt and some brown sugar. Squash can be sometimes messy to make. It'll be a little bit sticky from some of the juices that come out of it. So you want to cover um, your baking sheet, whatever you're using, with some aluminum foil. So that way cleanup will be easy. You can just toss that away instead of having to scrub your sheet, your cookie sheet afterwards. Into the 400 degree oven for one hour. All right, an hour is up. We shall see. How they look. Got to get a fork. Poke it. Mm, yummy. So there they are. So as you can see, as it cooks, it makes a little bit of a, a mess usually. Wee! Ha! <laughs> yeah, all that butter in there. So I'm gonna poke it with a fork and see how done it is. Should be really soft. Uh, this one's a little soft. This one's a little tough. I figure this one's a little bit bigger. So I think I'm gonna put them back in for about 15-20 minutes. Then we'll let them cool and taste them. Alright, let's see. Yep, that's softer. 
you should be able to easily pull away the flesh from the skin. So we'll do that. I'm not sure my hand is probably in the way, huh? Ha ha ha! It's watching what I'm doing and not the camera screen. So we'll get that all scraped down and mixed in with the wonderful cinnamon and brown sugar. Yum! So there you have some basic acorn squash. So taste test it, see how it is. You can always obviously add more salt or brown sugar or cinnamon um, to make it better for your taste buds. But uh, that's a simple recipe that I usually do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like to eat squash and what type, because like I said in the beginning, there were four different types. So I'll probably make those later. We'll see what type of different recipes I can come up with for making those. But I'm going to enjoy my squash here. You guys, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye. Perfect.